Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rebecca Rice and I teach family and portrait photographers to gain a life of freedom through a thriving photography business. In today's video, we're gonna dive into my honest review of Imagine AI editing software and why we started using it and have zero regrets. Let's dive in. If you haven't already, go ahead and like this video so that other photographers just like you can find it easier and hit that subscribe button so that you get notified every week when new videos go live. Now, before we dive into all things Imagine AI, I wanted to let you guys know about a free class that I have just for you guys. And it's all about how to take your business to the next level and really build out a true marketing strategy. It's called the six steps to doubling your photography revenue. So if you want to join me in this class, I'm walking through and breaking down the six steps to building a real marketing strategy, because the truth is pretty pictures are, will only get you so far. And so if you're ready to take your business to the next level, to finally get bookings and um, intentionally get in front of the right type of clients, not just waiting for them to find you, this class is for you. So it's linked in the description. Go check it out and I'd love to see you there. Now, if you want to try Imagine AI for free, there's a link in the description, so go check that out. I'm the kind of person that I like to try something before fully committing to it, and so this is the perfect opportunity. I think you get like 1,500 photos edited completely for free. And so if you wanna go try that out, check the link in the description. All right, first up, Let's define what is Imagine AI. In case you are not familiar with it, Imagine AI is an AI editing software that my team has been using for the last year and a half. We found out we were actually one of the first early adopters to jump into AI editing with this company, and we have been very impressed. And so um, basically, it's a robot, if you will, an AI um, software that edits your photos. It doesn't just slap a preset on your photos and call it good. It actually fine tunes and edits every individual photo and it does so really fast. It is crazy. The first time I used it, I literally, like my jaw was on the ground because I was so shocked at how accurate it was in editing. I thought that it was just going to slap a preset on and that's not what it did. It actually fine tuned every individual image um, with lighting changes and white balance changes and all the things to create a very consistent gallery. Now, AI editing is definitely a hot topic in our industry right now. There's a lot of people asking the question, is it worth it? Does it work? Is it good enough to edit, you know, full galleries for us? My answer is a big yes and we're gonna get into why in this video. Now I wanna give you a little bit of history on my own journey with editing as a photographer. So I started out like, every photographer does editing my own galleries. And, um, you know, in that time I was honing my style that I liked and really learning the ins and outs of, um, editing and, you know, the technicalities and all the things in Lightroom. And I did that for a good solid while. Then I reached a point where I knew that I couldn't keep up with the demand because I was booking like crazy that I needed to start outsourcing something. And so I started to outsource my editing. I used a large editing company. And so it was um, a little bit cheaper than a private editor. And um, it, with this company, basically I would send off my edits to them and it, their turnaround time wasn't great, but, and the consistency wasn't also wasn't great because uh, it was different people editing my galleries every time I needed to, um, you know, edit a certain percentage of the gallery for them to be able to edit the rest. Um, it got the job done for a season, but in the end, it wasn't where I stopped. So from there, I ended up finding a private editor who I worked with one-on-one -on -one to really hone in my style. They, they learned the ins and outs of my editing style. And that's where I stayed for a long time was working with a private editor. Now I still work with my private editor today. So imagine AI didn't quite replace them for my personal stuff, but I do have an associate team of photographers that shoots very high volume family sessions. And we switched them over from a private editor to Imagine AI, and it has been a game changer for them. 
So like I said, when we first found them, I didn't realize it, but we were one of the early adopters of AI editing. I knew for us, we were just at a place that we needed to find something that was faster, that was more cost effective, and that was still accurate and effective with our, you know, sticking with our editing style and stuff. And so I was very skeptical, as maybe many of you are, when I first tried it out. I thought, okay, there's no way a robot is going to be able to do as good of a job as I need because I had a certain quality of standard that I'm like, if it doesn't meet this, we're done. We're, we're just going to keep doing what we've been doing. And so I went into it very skeptical, but in the end I said, okay, let's try it. And so I'll never forget the first time I sent off a gallery to Imagine AI, I was shocked with how great of a job they did they, the robot did with matching our style, with hitting that consistency. I mean, it would, they did a great, great job. The biggest thing that shocked me was the turnaround time because working with our private editor, typically you'll see like a three to five business day turnaround time. And we had it you know, just something in our company that we wanted was we wanted to be able to turn photos around within one week. And so as we started shooting higher volume, it got to the place where it was really difficult to be able to edit everybody. You know, we shoot a lot of mini sessions, even our full sessions. It was really hard to be able to turn everybody around within one week. We just, with a three to five day turnaround and edits, it's just hard to make it, you know, make it happen within one week. And so what I was shocked about the most probably was how fast Imagine AI was at editing. And so something that would take a private editor, you know, three business days to get back to us, Imagine AI had back to us in literally minutes, like three to five minutes. I, I was shocked. I have no other words that I was sitting there like, that was so ridiculously fast that it's saving us days and days of turnaround time because of how quickly they were able to get it back to us. And to give you some context of our volume that we're talking about here, my associate team last year served over 650 families. And that's not just one photographer, don't worry. We have a team of about about 20 photographers that were all working that. But within one year, we served about 650 families and every single family got their photos within one week. That's crazy. And that's with one person processing all of the images. So it's not like we had all 20 photographers working on getting edits turned around and stuff. No, it was one person processing all of the images and we were able to get 650 families, their galleries within one week. That's crazy. And it wouldn't have been possible had we not switched to Imagine AI. It made all the difference. So let's talk about my thoughts for all things Imagine AI. First off, I want to mention the price. The price was something that really caught my eye that in the beginning was the reason that I wanted to try it out in the first place. So to give you a little bit of background for pricing, when you work with a private editor, typically edits are going to cost about 34 cents an image. That's just kind of a a round average number. Some charge more than that, some charge less than that, but 34 cents an image is pretty average for what you'll see in the the private editor space. Now, Imagine AI was getting images back to us at six cents an image. It cost five cents for, you know, the base edit. And then I wanted them to go ahead and do and straighten the images too. So that was an extra cent per image. So six cents per image. It also can crop, but I choose not to have them crop because crops are so subjective. So um, I like to just go in and handle crops on the back end anyway. Um, So six cents an image versus 34 cents an image, that right there, I mean, it's a no brainer. The fact that it did such a great job, I was like, okay, done. (laughs) Because the price is just, you can't beat it. The second thing is the speed. The speed is amazing. Where we're talking portrait sessions, you know, 50 to 100 images, we can get that back within minutes, you know, five, seven minutes. If you have more in your gallery, it might be a little bit more, but minutes, like less than 15 minutes. And the third thing I want to mention is the consistency. I was so surprised with how well it did without any anchor images. So an anchor image, whenever you work with a private editor, you edit, 
you know, one or two images from each um, kind of different lighting scenario or things like that so that the editor can work off of that and make sure that your whole gallery stays consistent. So with Imagine AI, you don't edit any images. You literally give them all raw images in your Lightroom catalog and you use what's called an editing profile and that it's kind of like the AI version of a preset, but remember it's not a preset because it does full individual edits on every single image. And so you don't have to edit anything. It uses that editing profile and you know, just the AI in it, the artificial intelligence, it goes through and it edits everything without any anchor images. And I was very surprised, like pleasantly surprised with how well the consistency looked in a portrait session. Now I will mention AI editing is definitely better or I guess easier for portrait photographers to use than wedding photographers because of you know the consistency factor. The more consistent you shoot, the better your AI results are going to be. Um, and so with a portrait session, we shoot for 30 minutes to an hour typically. And that, you know, we're able to control the lighting a lot better. We're able to control a lot of other factors. Whereas on a wedding day, you're shooting for eight to 10 hours. You're your lighting, your location, all the things are going to look very different throughout the day. And so it's going to be harder to get a more consistent gallery. So I will um, leave that caveat there that it, if you're a portrait photographer, you're going to find a lot more success with AI editing um, than wedding photographers. Now that doesn't mean wedding photographers, you can't utilize it. You absolutely can. I think it's just going to take a little bit more work on the back end to um, get that gallery looking nice and cohesive. Um, now I'm I'm not a wedding photographer. So like I said, I, I've never tried this with a wedding day. I just know the way a wedding day goes. Um, portrait photographers are going to find an easier time um, seeing that consistent gallery without having to go in and make extra tweaks. Now, a big question that's floating around is, will AI replace private editors? The simple answer is no, it's not going to replace private editors. If you're the kind of person that you want to be able to send off a gallery and get it back completely 100% ready, where it doesn't require extra tweaks, it doesn't require anything like that, a private editor is going to be the only way to go. AI editing just can't get you there. It can get you 90% of the way there, but you're still going to go have to go in and make um, some tweaks, you know, tweaking some crops, tweaking, um, you know, maybe exposure a little bit or, you know, whatnot, just fine tuning that gallery to to get it that extra 10% of polish. Um, imagine AI, you're going to have to go in and do that. So if you're the kind of person that you just don't want to touch it, you want to send off photos and have them back with a ready to go gallery, ready to export, a private editor is a better fit for you. But on the other side, if you're okay with going in and making that last 10% of tweaks on, you know, crops and fine tuning each photo um, after you receive it back, again, this doesn't take a long time, um, but it is something that is going to be required of you. And so if you're okay with doing that, then Imagine AI might be a really good fit for you. It saves time, it saves money, um, and overall, it's going to give you more freedom because you're not going to be tied to your computer. Um, you know, you can send off the galleries to AI, get them back, and it's 90% of the way there. That, that in itself is such a huge time saver. And so if you're okay with doing that extra 10% to get the gallery polished, then AI, I think, is going to be great for you. So like I mentioned before, if you want to try out Imagine AI, completely for free. Just test the waters, see how it goes with your edits before, you know, committing to it. Then check that link in the description. I think you can get about 1500 photos edited completely for free through Imagine AI. So definitely go check that out. And another thing that I'm super excited about is we are actually offering my custom editing profile it's available for you guys to purchase if you want to use it. Now, the way Imagine AI works is you can go in and they have some editing profiles that are already created that are just included that you can use. But if you love my style, I have like a very signature light and airy style. So if you love my style, you can actually purchase my custom editing profile to use in your Imagine AI. And this is better than a preset because remember, it's making those fine tune edits for every single photo. It's not just slapping a preset on it. And so what 
you know, using my editing profile is able to do is it applies, you know, the typical edits that I would do, but it also goes in to each individual photo and makes edits that I would make because the computer has learned my editing style. It's wild. And so if you love my style and want to be able to replicate that with your work, then be sure to check out my editing profile that you can purchase and uh, use in your own Imagine AI. That link is also in the description. So go check that out. I think you're going to really love it. I was so excited when the team told me, when the Imagine AI team told me that this was available for us to offer for you guys. It's something that I've been waiting on because I knew it was going to be so valuable for you to be able to have that in your arsenal. And so if you love using my presets, maybe you're new here, you've never used my presets, but you like my editing style, then definitely go check out that custom profile. All right, friends, there you have it. My total honest review about Imagine AI. If you can't tell, I'm a really big fan and I truly believe that it's going to make a huge difference in your business, especially if you're somebody that has never outsourced your editing, that maybe you're in the place that you feel like you couldn't afford it before. Um, you know, you wanted to work with a private editor. It was just out of your budget. I'm telling you Imagine AI is such a great alternative for you because like I said, it's going to get you so much closer. You're going to save hours and hours from editing and be able to spend that time doing things that matter most in your life, whether that's spending time with family or, um, you know, investing in other areas of your business or whatever it may be. This is going to give you the freedom to be able to do that. And so do me a favor, at least try it because you never know unless you try. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with how much of a game changer this is going to be in your business. It's time to embrace AI, run with it because it's just, this is, this is the future of photography. And so definitely go check it out. It's worth at least trying. Now, if you stick around with us next week, I'm going to do a complete walkthrough tutorial of how to edit using Imagine AI. So I'd love to see you back here next week. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel so that you get notified when that video goes live. And for now, we'll end it here. So we'll see you next week.